Live, local, late breaking. WPBF 25 News at 9. So we're less than a month away from this year's Philanthropy Tank Finals. The program, it's a local one, gives Palm Beach County students the opportunity to pitch their idea for the next big thing and potentially get the funding and the mentorship to make that thing happen, make it a reality. And this year's finalists have officially been announced. 15 teenagers are representing six different big ideas, and we want to give them an opportunity to share their ideas publicly before their final pitch. So joining me this morning is Amelia Williams. She's a junior at Dreyfus School of the Arts right there in Palm Beach County. Amelia, thank you so much for joining us live this morning. I love the idea for your project. It's called Green Garments. Tell us how it all works. Hi, yes, thank you so much for having me. So essentially Green Garments is a project that aims to um, show students the power that they have as consumers and essentially um, endorse the idea of buying sustainably and shopping for secondhand fashion. And you must have seen an, the incredible amount of waste that, that is out there in the clothing industry. I mean, a lot of that just ends up in the landfill. Yeah, and I mean, um, so much water waste comes out of it, and uh, fast fashion materials often don't break down over time and use toxic dyes that leach into our waterways. And I really like about your project the idea of s sort of rehabbing these things too, and then putting them online. Give me how, how does that how would that actually work? So um, we're hoping to get donations, um, clothing donations from people who either have clothing that you know. They, they would rather throw away. Um, we want to take that in and, you know, even, even damaged clothing we will take. And then we'll sort of refurbish it uh, using our volunteers and then post that on our online and in-person store, which we'll have at events. Um, and all the proceeds that are made uh, through our store will be donated to schools in Palm Beach County. So giving back in a, in a whole different way there as well. I got to think you, you in yourself enjoy maybe secondhand shopping and that thrill of kind of finding it. Uh, explain what that's like because it's a different mindset than walking into a traditional retail store. Definitely. I mean, um, I think thrifting is just like such a fun way to shop because I have found like most of my wardrobe is uh, thrifted garments. And I think it is such a fun way to create a unique and one of a kind wardrobe. And I mean, I think it's fun, like um, just creating that. I love it. I love it. And your the goal here, you'd love to get that $15,000 prize. What would you be able to do with that kind of cash? So um, the main basis of uh, my budget uh, has to do with materials that we're going to use, you know, to refurbish the clothing, such as sewing machines, embroidery machines, um, needles, thread, uh, you know, uh, scraps of clothing, like uh, cloth to repair any holes or whatever. So I think it's just going to be a very good foundation to sort of just build up um, this not-for-profit business. Well, I love it. We're going to be following you on this journey. Amelia Williams, thank you so much for joining us live this morning. And Green Garments, perfect having you here on St. Patrick's Day as well, talking all about green. Thank you for joining us this morning live on the newscast. Now, you can watch the finals on April 11th. It's going to be 7 p.m. on all Philanthropy Tank social media pages.